Hello everybody, my name is Olga Larmoudier. I live in French Alps and I'm a natural cosmetic formulator. Here on my channel I like to share my ideas and my recipes and to help you to make your beauty routine a little bit greener and safer for you and for our planet. I want to share with you the recipe of this beautiful self emulsifying body scrub. It has a very nice and creamy and silky texture and when you apply it on your wet skin it turns into cream. So actually it's two in one because it helps you to exfoliate your skin but also it takes care of the skin. It's like cream and uh, scrub in one product. In order to achieve this uh, very <laughs> nice uh, product texture and uh, product experience, you're going to need one uh, secret ingredient. This ingredient is called uh, sucre gel and uh, this is an ingredient which helps to make uh, oil-based gels. It actually helps to create an uh, oily gel that turns into cream, it turns into lotion on your skin when you add some water. It is safe and natural ingredient which is allowed and certified biocosmetics and it is absolutely safe and biodegradable. Okay guys, now let's talk about what we're gonna need to make our self-emulsifying scrub. First we're gonna talk about tools. Uh, you are going to need a um, high precision weight scale and you're going to need two separate beakers so because we're gonna actually weight our emulsifier and our oils in different beakers and then we're gonna add oils to emulsify drop by drop drop. In order to make it I'm going to use a pipette. I'm not a huge fan of plastic so whenever I can I'm trying to use different tools and this is a glass pipette but you can also use a regular plastic um, disposable pipette as well. Now let's talk about the ingredients and uh, I'm going to use uh, two different type of oils and this is um, jojoba oil and I actually macerated it with dry rose petals so it has a slight scent of rose petals very nice but also you can take a regular jojoba oil for your body scrub. I'm also going to use an MST oil. It is made of coconut oil and you can find it either as a cosmetic ingredient or as a food supplement on different websites. Also we're gonna need some vitamin E. This is our antioxidant and it's gonna protect oils in our scrub from oxidation. And also I'm going to use oil soluble preservative because our product is exposed to water. And if some water drops get inside our body scrub, uh, it can uh, contaminate the product and might be dangerous um, for skin. So we're going to use a preservative as well. I'm also going to use um, an emulsifier, sucre gel, to make um, this nice self-emulsifying texture. I'm going to add um, a little bit of um, red mineral mica to add color to my product. And also I'm going to use um, two essential oils. You can use different essential oils to add some aroma to your product. And the last, <laughs> but not the least, this is our natural exfoliating agent and I'm going to use a strawberry grains. You can find it on the different websites that sells ingredients for natural cosmetics or sometimes you can find it in stores uh, for gardening. Okay, let's make our self-emulsifying body scrub. As I said, we are going to um, use two separate beakers. And first, uh, we put uh, the bigger beaker on uh, scales. And uh, we're going to weight our oils and our essential oils, our preservative and uh, mineral mica. Everything except our emulsifier in this beaker. Make sure that you have zeros here. And first, we are going to weight our MST oil. You can also use a different kind of vegetable oils, for example, sweet almond oil or apricot kernel oil, or any kind of vegetable oil. But MST oil actually is a very good base for any wash of product like body scrub or self-emulsifying cleansing oil because it's not greasy. So it actually does not leave this greasy afterfeel on your skin. But as I said, you can also try to make this body scrub with different kind of vegetable oil. Don't forget to push the button and uh, bring it back to zeros. And now I'm going to add some jojoba oil. Now I'm going to add my vitamin E. Now 
Now I'm going to add my essential oils. I'm using geranium essential oil as a base because it has very nice floral aroma. And I'm going to use a few drops of Elan oil. Now I'm going to add my oil soluble preservative and I'm going to leave you the links on uh, the preservative I'm using in the text box below this video but actually you can use different kind of preservative um, make sure it's oil soluble and at last I'm going to add a little bit of um, red uh, mineral mica because I want to add a little bit of pink color to my product Okay, we're done with oils and now we're going to wait our emulsifier in a separate beaker. Sucre gel is a great uh, ingredient and I love it a lot, but it's a little bit tricky to work with. The secret is to add oils drop by drop, so you have to be patient. It is very important because if you add your oil all at once, then it's going to separate. It will never mix with uh, sucre gel. You have to do it slowly and um, step by step so that sucre gel emulsify the oils and actually it all stick together and then you're going to have your perfect um, gel-like texture. So those are two parts of our product. This is our emulsifier um, sucre gel and this is our oils, uh, essential oils, uh, preservative, antioxidant and colorant. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use our pipette and we're gonna add drop by drop oils to our emulsifier and mix it well. Mix really well because you want your emulsifier to bond to your oils and um, you should go really slow. It takes time but you're gonna enjoy the final <laughs> product. When you add oils to your emulsifier you're going to see that the texture is changing and becomes milkier. This is normal, everything goes well. Just continue to add your oils drop by drop and mix well. Just wanted to show you the texture you see on this stage it's white we have a, a little bit of wells just a few drops it has changed your color now i'm going to switch off and then i'm going to show you what's happening when we have added almost half of our oils to our product and i'm back now i have added almost maybe 30 35 percent of our oils and i just wanted uh, to show you the texture of our slurry it's rather thick in this stage and still not transparent but i'm going to continue to add my oils now at the very beginning you have to be very uh, slow and patient and really add drop by drop but at this stage uh, you can actually uh, add more oils at the time because our emulsifier is already bonded to our oils so you can go faster just wanted you to show the final texture of our mix. I have added all my oils um, drop by drop, step by step and mixed really well. You can see that um, it's rather thick so it's a very nice uh, texture. It's not fully transparent but it's not milky as well. Very nice color, very sublime um, aroma of our essential oils and my um, rose uh, jojoba oil. Now we are going to proceed with the final step and wait my exfoliating agent. I'm using two grams of strawberry seeds for this volume, but actually you can adjust it. It depends on your volume, it depends on the type of exfoliating agent you're going to use. So just follow common sense and see that your scrub um, has uh, enough of exfoliating agent. That's it. Our product is ready, now I'm going to transfer it to my container. Uh, it took me maybe um, 20 minutes to make one, so it's actually a time-consuming project, but you're gonna have your reward, this very nice, very thick 
very um, smooth, um, exfoliating and self-emulsifying body scrub. You can actually use it for face as well because it's rather gentle. That's it. This is our self-emulsifying uh, body scrub. Uh, it looks actually like a sorbet. Try to protect it from moisture, so try to keep it in a jar with a tight lid. You can keep this product up to six months. It makes a great gift as well. Thank you for watching this video. The recipe and useful links you can find below in the text box. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss new videos. And see you next time. Au revoir.